A horrible insult was made against Jenny. End the fucking story. So what does he want done about it? I want to avenge her honor. This is my right to do. All right, fine. You tell me who told you about it. We'll bring him in here. He corroborates what you're saying. I'll give you Ralph on a platter. It's nothing sacred. I mean, this is my wife we're talking about here. If this were years ago, would I even have had to ask? I mean, what happened to this thing? For God's sake, we bend more rules than the Catholic Church. I right, look. Let's assume, for the sake of argument, Ralph said what you think he said. Is clipping him gonna unring that bell? Nobody's getting clipped. I want satisfaction. Would you accept an apology? That ship has sailed. You're being unreasonable, John. Ralph Cifarello is the only one who knows how to handle the Esplanade? Put Pat the Corvo in there. There are millions of dollars at stake. Again with the money? Yeah, again with the money. It's sell, John. So read the name of price or get the fuck over it. an attack, full blown. What did your therapist say? I don't see her no more. Why not? You think you're the only one that has to cut back on shit they need because of the separation? Now, what's on your mind? Mr. Wegler wants us to come in and discuss AJ's lousy academic performance. Is this the same Wegler? It's last year to reach you on with the Billy Buds? AJ got him as a college advisor. And I told this kid to start cracking the books. Was he supposed to do that after he got back from the Nets game you took him to on a school night? It's got to be hard for him, this situation with us. Why don't you cut him some slack? No, that's your department. I get to be the prison warden over here while you indulge him. The iPod, the drums. Uh, again with the drums. Encourage extracurricular activity, you said. Brand new drums, just like that? Don't even look in the classifieds. Why don't you just tell me when the school meeting is? Because I don't have to listen to this shit anymore. That's why we're separated. Are you kidding me, Tony? That is not why. Tidelands Project. Your slice of no-shows? I spoke to the union. And we can't make five work no more. Rollbacks. Not to mention, my end's way down. Now more than ever, I got captains looking at me to deliver them those no-show jobs on account of the medical insurance. Healthcare costs these days. Bitch, all you want about John. He understood that I was a mutually beneficial arrangement. John's folding laundry in fucking Danbury. It's on my shoulders to take care of the family, even if he's boss just in name. Now, I made a decision, and with all due respect, it's final. You see, this is what I get. I never should have let you slide on the vitamins. Again, with the vitamins. You told me there were 1,500 cases of centrums on that truck. When your nephew delivered it, there were cartons ripped open, pills all over the fucking floor. Anybody got shorted, it was yours truly. But you know what? All right, all right, all right. Put it back in your pocket. But I got to get some relief on this other situation. Morning, sunshine. Benjamin Moore. And we can do the borders with the Disney characters. Makes me nervous, this stuff. We should wait to decorate till after the baby's born. <sighs> Again with the superstitions? Remember the Penguin movie? How you cried? You sit on an egg for months, one little thing goes wrong, you're left with nothing. Honey, I'm not Adriana. I'm healthy. Our baby's healthy. Stop worrying and enjoy this time, okay? I am. Let's just stop counting the chickens. God fucking damn it! What? That's good, right? No. I only bet ten. But you won. What did I say? What did I tell you? It's a short thing. You talk about this crap like it's science, Tony. I lost a lot of fucking money. You didn't lose. We could have turned your bullshit into a fucking million dollars. My bullshit? That spec house was my investment for my future. Here we go. Jenny Sack had to move in with her fucking daughter, Tony. Again with Jenny Sack, huh? John provided. She's a fucking hysteric. You ever think I might know what I'm doing? You and the furniture and the clothes and the cars. You would have spent everything I made. 
if I let you. You know what? The next time you win, I'll take a cut and I'll roll the fucking dice. You already took your cut for the bird feeder. And don't fucking deny it again. What, 40 grand in the stock market? I'd ask for my piece, but wait, there's nothing. And that spec house, I made the down payment. I bought the materials. I leaned on that building inspector when you had your thumb up your ass. So stop talking about your money. Let go of me, you piece of shit. Fact is, you're a shitty businesswoman who built a piece of shit house that's gonna cave in and kill that fucking unborn baby any day. And now you can't sleep. Fuck yourself! When I'm gone, you can live in a fucking dumpster for all I care! <laughs>